Hi. Today, I want to recite a poem. My grandmother used to love to teach me to recite. And this is one of the poems she taught me to recite. And along with it, she also taught me the importance of smiling, the importance of bouncing back however hard I fall. She explained it to me in so many ways as she was teaching me to recite it. I loved it then. I love it now. I hope you all like it too. Edmund Von Cook, 1866 to 1932, is often referred to as the Poet Laureate of Childhood. He was born in Ontario, Canada. He began working at the White Sewing Machine Co. factory as a teenager. He worked there for 14 years. Then he became a self-employed poet and lecturer. In, that was in 1893. His first book of poems, A Patch of Pansies, was published in 1894. He was an entertaining poet who many critics feel was underrated. He published 16 collections of poetry and wrote many children's books too. Here's what I would like to recite. My grandmother had changed the name of the poem when she taught it to me. To me, this poem always is Smile Smile by Edmund Vaughan Cook. The actual name is How Did You Die by Edmund Vaughan Cook. Did you tackle the trouble that came your way with a resolute heart and cheerful? Or hide your face from the light of day with a craven soul and fearful? Oh, a trouble's a ton, a trouble's an ounce. A trouble is what you make it. And it isn't the fact that you're hurt that counts, but only how did you take it? You're beaten to earth. Who well, well, what's that? Come up with a smiling face. It's nothing against you to fall down flat, but to lie there, oh, that's disgrace. The harder you're hit, why the higher you bounce? Be proud of your blackened eye. It isn't the fact that you're licked that counts. It's how did you fight and why? And though you be done to death, what then? If you have battled the best you could, if you have played your part in the world of men, why? The critic will call it good. Death comes with a crawl or comes with a pounce. Whether he's slow or spry, it isn't the fact that you're dead that counts, but only how did you die? I find these words very relevant in my life even today. I hope you understand it and I hope you take the best of what is written here. Thank you so much for listening to me. Until next time. Bye-bye.